So let's say that you had a great rest and you woke up and you found that your body is still feeling throbby. Now, in the last video, I talked about being stiff versus sore versus pain. But when your body's in inflammation mode, it's a whole different feeling. And if you're like me, you know when your body's inflamed. And so in this video, I'm going to give you things that you can eat to decrease your body inflammation. Before I go on, guys, I want to know what's your trick to decrease inflammation. Do you do ice? Are you taking any supplements? Or maybe do you take a cold bath or a hot bath? Post in the comments section. Let me know what you're doing for body inflammation. So number one is that we need to reduce the amount of caffeine that we're drinking. If you look on a pH scale, you're going to see that caffeine or primarily coffee is highly acidic. And your body never wants to go too far one way and it never really wants to go too far the other. And so you always want to keep your body in neutral. Now, coffee is actually highly acidic. And if you're drinking more coffee than you're flushing it out with water, well, guess what? You're creating imbalance and you're changing your body, which is going to trigger a little bit of inflammation through the coffee. Number two is that you should increase your dark green leafy vegetables like kale and spinach. Now, if you look on the pH scale, then what you're going to see is those dark green vegetables are very alkaline. Okay, so it's going to help balance out a lot of the acidic that we're consuming and it's going to create that balance. I also like to put greens in my body. I know if I get really sick, one of the things I do is always blend up my spinach, spinach with the greens and it's just a pure alkaline drink. It feels good going into my body. I feel like it's going in there and it's kind of cleaning up the insides and it's flushing out a lot of the waste. Number three is that we need to drink a lot of water. Now, you always hear this, yeah, water is important. People are like, yeah, I drink a lot of water. And then we actually find out that they're drinking more artificial sweeteners, more caffeine, and they're always sweetening their, their drinks or their water and they consider that water. But it's good to just have plain water because when your body digests it, you got to understand that if it's mixed with any type of like Mio or if you're just having like a diet drink, your body has to separate the water, the fluids, from the actual ingredients. And so that's a process that takes a lot of time. When it comes to just drinking water, you want it to be in your body, you want it to go through your muscles, your bloodstream and everything else like that, and you want it to go to work right away, okay? Your body is like 60, 70, maybe even up to 80% water, and as such, it needs to be the main source just like blood is in your veins. Now here's a little tip that you can do with your water where you can start to add a little bit of lemon juice and as you add the lemon juice into the water and you digest it, it actually creates an alkaline environment for the water. Number four is that you need to stay away from inflammation triggering foods such as sugar, dairy, meat, and for some of us, even bread. And so we have to understand what foods are causing us to feel puffy, right? Like a lot of us will feel it in our fingers, we'll feel it in our toes, or we just instantly get bloated after. Some of us even have to go to the washer because of these foods that are triggering you. So if you know there's these certain foods that are triggering that inflammation response, then you have to limit it. But if you are going to consume it, because who the heck wants to stay away from sugar, dairy, red meat, and breads, then what you need to do is create that balance, like we spoke about earlier in this video, by adding more alkaline into your diet. And the last but not least is a supplement, so it's not really things that you can eat, but there's a supplement that I take, and I've done research, and I've tried to find all the different supplements out there that have the best ingredients in it, and this Joint Pro formula, which is formulated from food, it actually has a bunch of anti-inflammatories in there, but at the same time, it helps provide nutrients for your tendons, muscles, and increases your joint recovery. So there we have it, guys. I gave you five different ways that you can decrease your body inflammation. What I want to know in the comments section is what are you doing to help your body decrease the inflammation and to speed up your recovery? Give the video a like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.